I got an incoming call from Francis Coppola one day, uh, which led to my first film score, Rumblefish. And this is typical Francis Coppola. He hired the director of the San Francisco Ballet to choreograph the big bad gang fight scenes, uh, which is why they're so raging. And the fight director on Rumblefish was a guy called Michael Smewen. And after the movie uh, was said and done, I got a call from Michael Smewen, who invited me to compose a ballet for the San Francisco Ballet, probably thinking that I was going to show up with uh, rock music. Uh, I didn't. I showed up with a score. Uh, I wrote it all on my Fairlight and showed up in San Francisco with a full orc score. It sounded like crap, uh, most of it, uh, a real train wreck uh, for 20 different reasons. But there were four bars, that, and that was enough to think, well, let's see if I can write eight bars that don't suck. And so from there grew this relationship with the orchestra that just trying to get this thing to do the beautiful stuff that it can do. Well, rock and roll is no preparation for this because making music to come out of speakers is a piece of cake. Uh, you fiddle with it until it sounds great. Writing a score is a whole different thing. You have to imagine what it's going to sound like when 60 guys read it. But when the guys are playing it, it's down to how much information you put on the page. Because when I was scoring films for a living, uh, I didn't have time for that. I'd hire some guy, you know, on the recording date, the orchestra is there. I'm dealing with the producers, and I got fish to fry. I got to keep every. No, that's, that's, that's sounding a little hazard. Okay, like uh, tacit trumpets, bars 37 through 41. It needs to have anything. Okay, timpani. That Aussie line you got there, play that. Okay, thank you. Let's take it from bar 24. You know. So then, when I quit doing that job, and I started writing art for art's sake, commissions for real orchestras to write music. Uh, <laughs> then I learned. I had the time to learn all this stuff. Well, opera is the most fun because there's, it's the biggest, and I've learned that I actually can climb the big mountain. It turns out an old dog can learn new tricks.